Welcome back to 13 Sunrise. Every Sunday, Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden gives us great advice for do-it-yourself home improvement projects. And with these cold temperatures finally here, he is moving inside this morning to talk all about house plants. Well, it is fall officially, and uh, a lot of us will take house plants outside uh, in the summer on our patio for the it's great for the plant, it's great for the uh, environment and uh, kind of the look of your patio. I asked uh, some of our houseplant experts on some tips for successfully getting your plants back inside. First thing they had mentioned is obviously when they're outside, they're exposed to more insects. Uh, mites is number one on the list and if your plant has mites, what you'll kind of see is kind of some dotting, so kind of a goldish dotting. And so you want to treat for mites. That's certainly, you want to do that before you bring them in. You can use, uh, this is a great one here. Uh, it's uh, specifically for mites. If you want something organic, neem oil is also labeled for mites. I'm not sure it's, it's as good. So you want to treat them beforehand. The other thing is just as a general uh, condition when you bring them in, replace the top couple inches of soil. So you, and because uh, insects will lay eggs there, then you bring them inside. So any of that loose soil you can get out of there. And what we recommend, instead of just regular, this is regular house plant uh, soil, which uh, is kind of a peat moss base, so it holds a lot of water. But what we actually recommend is cactus and succulent soil for most of our plants. And you think, well, this isn't a cactus, uh, cactus it's a house plant. But because it's a coarser soil, it drains really well because probably uh, the number one problem that people get into with plants is overwatering. And so when you overwater, the roots sit, they get wet feet, you know, the, uh, the saucer fills up with water and it's sitting there, so always dump that out. But with, with the cactus oil, it drains pretty quick. More damage from overwatering than underwatering. So keep that in mind. So you'll want to do that if you want to uh, do a little pruning on them because the, uh, the plants have been pushing out uh, growth all summer long. So get in there and you can kind of do a little pruning and that makes it less stressful. Then when you're ready to bring them in, you don't want to just charge in, so you want to slowly do that. So if they're getting uh, X amount of light outside, take that to a little darker place. Then maybe onto the front porch or a screen in porch before you bring them inside and you're, you're kind of just, we have some time now, there's, you know, there's some nice temperatures coming, so kind of a slow, gradual get them back inside. As far as uh, the, uh, <laughs> and here's one little tip that's kind of a funny one and I put this here to remind me, don't put your house plant where the Christmas tree is going because then you're going to upset it again. So uh, as far as light goes, don't be afraid on some of these things to get artificial light. Maybe you can see right over there, we keep plants underneath and we always have some artificial light in there. And lastly, probably not a great time to upsize it because they're, they're already going through a, a transition and that's uh, upsizing to a bigger pot is really hard on a plant. So let's wait until spring on that one. So before you know it, your plants should be inside.